Holy cow. Hey guys. So we just came back from our friend's house, Andy in Jericho. Spent the whole day over there and uh, decided to take Boba out for a, a late night walk. And of course, Boba always finds things when we go out for a walk. This is uh, just like three or four houses down from my house. It's a uh, Briggs & Stratton Quantum Engine on a Craftsman 21. Self-propelled. How about that, huh? Boba finds another mower. Home we go. This is like the fourth thing that Boba's found while we were walking. Garbage. La basura. That's garbage, all right. But uh, it only appears that the pull rope is busted. Maybe because the pull rope is busted, the guy didn't want it anymore? It's decent. With a bagger? Self-propelled? If this thing was running perfectly, this could fetch 150. Good shape. Scores! I haven't started working on the Cub Cadet yet because I still have something else that I need to do. As you guys might remember, I went on a nightly walk with my dog, Boba. My dog has found probably four things already, just from walking him around the neighborhood. This was uh, at night, and this was only like five houses down from my house. And uh, it was put out late at night, and thank goodness I was walking my dog, and the sign says, Garbage! La Basuda! If you guys uh, don't know, La Basuda is Russian. <clears throat> so anyway, so um, I'm going to work on this since the weather is all yucky. can't work on my lawn tractors because everything's wet, you know. So i got to get this out of the way anyway, you know. So uh, the brake cable seems to be good. And what I could only tell from looking why this guy might have thrown it out, Is the pull cords trash? <laughs> you know what I mean? So I won't be able to test this thing until I get the pull cord fixed. So I'm just going to take off. This should be an easy fix. And of course I say should be, and I probably just jinxed it. It'd probably be the worst nightmare I've ever had. You know, you just never know. So I'm going to take that top cowling off and uh, get that recoil starter off. It's easy to do, and I really like these quantum engines from Briggs. It's just two long wood-like wood screws that hold the uh, top cover on. I think there's a little ditch here where you can put your screws. In that convenient. Then there's a uh, three five sixteenths to uh, remove the gas tank, pivot it to the side, take off the engine cover, and the recoil starter is attached to the engine cover. You guys in Florida, dodged a bullet, huh? Category 5 hurricane misses you. How lucky are you? You should go by Lotto, man. However, you guys in Georgia, you're headed, that's headed for you, I think. Yeah, you never know. Might blow it away. Oops. That's what usually happens. I need to uh, clamp off that or, uh, fuel. Just clamped off the fuel. There's uh, one five sixteenths right here that holds the. Here it comes. Dipstick. Cletus, you dipstick! Cletus, you know what you are. You're a dipstick. A 14 carat dipstick. Man, look at that Earl. That blacker than death. Definitely needs an oil change. And it 
that's two 3 8 bolts on the front part of the engine cover. And should be two here, one's missing, see? I have a feeling somebody's been in here before. I'm gonna have to find a three eighths. And here is the recoil starter. It's good, just needs a new pull rope is all. rope through here and so I'm gonna just cut the rope I'm gonna cut it right here let it suck right in boom so now the tension's gone I'm gonna need this some kind of screwdriver pick pick the knot out of there I'll use that later so now it's not under tension see so I could just uh, pull this out there it is here's the rope that was inside you need only about this much all right to pull start it. Seems a little short though, honestly. So I wanna get at least this much and then go from here to there and add another length. So I'm gonna measure a rope. Take that out. Now this handle's ready for a rope. About this length of rope. It's pretty long. Just want to make sure this fits in here. It's pretty thick, actually. This rope is pretty thick. Maybe too thick for this handle. I might save this handle and use one of my uh, Chinese ones. I like those better. Uh, this rope is very thick, so I don't know if this will fit through that hole. It looks like it's, yeah, it looks like it's too thick. I'm going to get a thinner one. Got this long spool of rope from Home Depot. Bought it a long time ago for like three ninety nine or something like that. Very cheap. I'm going to burn the end of this so it's stiff and hard. Stiff and hard, so you can uh, stiff and hard, so you can stick it in the hole. <clears throat> so here we go. I'm gonna wind it counterclockwise until it doesn't go anymore. I don't want to do it way too hard, otherwise you break the coil on the inside. The opening is right there, and I'm going to wait until, yeah, I feel pressure now, so it's getting really tight. And there's the opening to here, to the spool. And I don't think I can make it one way, one more way around to reach. Maybe I can, actually. This way, oh, there you go. There's definitely no way I can make another one because it's too tight. So I'm going to stop it right there. the screwdriver right here right there that's too much you know I want to put a screwdriver right where the hole is you see what I'm saying Okay, 
So you get what I'm saying? So now it stopped there and I've lined up the hole this outer part here, so stick it in this hole there and hope it goes through there. There we go, first shot, boom, just like that. Hold the rope, pull the screwdriver out. Now it'll suck in this rope. You want it to suck in all the way until it doesn't go anymore. And when you pull it somewhat fast, you'll notice that the butterfly things come out. So that's working properly. It's actually very smooth, I don't even need any earl. So now I want to measure where I'm going to cut this. So I'm going to put this back right around here. And you kind of want to get a grasp as to where you want to cut it. That's pretty loose up to there. So I'm thinking you make a knot right around there. Look right here. I'm going to burn this end. Ouch. Where's that damn handle now? Uh -huh. So now I've got a thinner rope. I can use the original handle. Stick it in here. Cool with it. Finally got it in here. Just want to make sure about that this thing fits through this hole. You gotta put this through here. Gotta put that through there. All right. And now you can make a knot. A knot. You can make a knot now. That's not going to go through there. You could barely get the rope in there, you know? So that's that. Um, since it was missing a 3 8 bolt for the other side of this engine cover, I'm going to go find one. That's going to be a challenge. Actually, that wasn't too bad. I found one pretty quickly. I'm going to line up the engine cover. wanted you guys to see this part here. See that? This part right here? Gotta go perfectly right there. The metal part. One of the 3 h bolts that was missing. ones. 
Now, uh, before I do anything else in terms of putting this back together again, I will put this dipstick back on. It is you dipstick. And um, I'm going to just take a peek at the carburetor. You take the bowl off and see how dirty it is. Just to see, you know what I mean? Burn. Check out the condition of the air cleaner. It's not bad. Not bad. Gonna brush that off. Well, you know what? Might as well just take this off. Three bolts, five sixteenths. That these two are to hold the carburetor, the uh, air cleaner base to the carburetor. This one holds the air cleaner base to the frame. Three. This pops right off. Yuck! That's like a centimeter of grime on there. Gonna get a half inch wrench. Expect some fuel to come out, so you'll put a little rag there. Alright. This bowl, the screw is inset, so you have to do it at an angle, or to be safe, get a socket. I'm gonna get a socket because I always screwed up. It's kind of funny. This big chunk of crap just came from the rear. Man, that's really tough to turn. It's bad, bad sign. Really dirty in the surrounding areas, as you can see. There's the jet nut. Not terrible at all. I think we might be able to get get uh, get away with a quick and dirty. It's not bad. It's not good, but it's not bad. So this will cause it to not run right. It's got all that crap in there. Look at that. Yucky. Just got to clean your shit. See if I say it fast, they won't realize. Good grief. Jeez, Louise. Gonna get some carb cleaner. 
ball's pretty clean. Instead of carb cleaner, I'm using my multi-purpose parts cleaner and degreaser from my friends at Lucas Oil Products. Load and hold. Load and hold. I'm going to curve the straw up the emulsion tube. Gum out. Check out the condition of this jet nut. See if you can see through it. And you can. Surprisingly. Look through it anyway. Put the bowl back on. Put the jet nut back on. Now it's nice and easy to turn. Screw up there. Tighten the bolt slightly, not crazy, slightly. If you have a good gasket, you shouldn't have to tighten it that tight. Feels like it's not even a half inch, you know? That's it. Right. I'm going to clean up this cover. Much nicer. This area here, very important. Put this thing back on the breather hose. Take one of the screws, line it up to the hole to the carburetor, usually the center one, so you can make sure that's centered. Then you go with the one on the left, Line it up to the hole. And of course I lost the other one to the frame. Where does it go? I don't know. I don't understand it. I had it right here. Where does it go? Where's that gorilla that comes and steals my remote control? I can never find it to turn the channel. It's the same gorilla that keeps stealing the screws. Where does it go, man? Just brushed off everything. There was a, a ton of Earl, dried Earl. Finally found the damn screws right under the wheel. All right. Uh... Oop. All that fuel torn out.
You're going blind or something, man. Where is that other one? The moment of truth is close. We are close to the moment of truth. This goes underneath. The two wood screws. To hold the top cosmetic cover on. You know, this is a nice mower. Self-propelled. I hope self-propelled works. Okay, we uh, did a quick and dirty on the carb clean. We uh, got a new pull rope. I'm gonna route it through hither. like that? Guess we're gonna give it a first try. What do you guys think? Think this Mamma Gemma will work? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, yo. Here we go, yo. So what's the what's what's our scenario? Make sure you get rid of all the stuff around it, like rags and stuff. You don't suck something in. Like a whole spool of rope. Make sure there's nothing underneath. There's nothing underneath. It's like a crap. You know what? Before I do that, I know what's going to happen. Is that blade is going to fly around like crazy, right? And blow all this crap around my garage and I'll never get it out. So while you're at it, clean your shit. Look at that, look at that crap. Damn. Why do people mistreat these machines? This machine is so it's actually in really good shape if you look at it. There's no rust anywhere. I mean, some scrapes over here, but I mean, honestly, it, the body's in really good shape. You've got a nice body. You've got a nice body. And yet you can call you La Basura. La Basura. Basura's um, Greek, you know. I'm a multilingual. Okay, here we are. We're gonna give it our start. You guys think it'll run? Oh, wait a minute. I can see it. Okay. Primed. Here we go. What do you think? How many pulls? Or do we start it all? One. Two. Three.
comes good now. I had to let it run for a little bit. Huh. I got a fine line every time I do this? So, ran pretty well. I'm actually going to give it an Earl change because that Earl is just yucky. You know what I mean? I'm going to do it the easy way, though. I'm just going to tip it on its side and drain it out. Get an old towel that I've been using to wipe Earl. You know what this is. You guys have this. I mean, this is everywhere around the country. Rotisserie roasted chicken. $4.99. Every time we go to Costco, we buy two of them because we don't like white meat. I guess Chinese people don't like white meat. We only like dark meat, right? And uh, we give Boba, my dog, the uh, white meat. Chop it into little pieces, mix it with the kibble. Look at that Earl. Feels like mud. It's terrible. Uh, I'm gonna make a mess. 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 Oh my goodness, look at that Earl. Oh, terrible. Terrible. Goodness gracious. Quite a lot of roll. right my good friends over at Lucas oil products sent me two more case two more half cases of SAE 30 plus this is what you guys use for your summer equipment SAE 30 is used for machines that are operated in temperatures above 32 degrees Fahrenheit. That's what SAE 30 is what I've been using the entire summer. The 15 or so lawn tractors I've had, countless push mowers. Now when winter comes, we're going to be using 5W30 on all the snow machines. So that's pretty good, it's down to a trickle, we got most of it out. And that's all you really want to do is just have most of it out. How about that? I didn't spill a drop. Are you ready for my usual lecture? Don't be a dick and uh, pour it down somebody's sewer or something or in a lake. Dispose of it at your local gas station. And apparently I had a leak in this because I had made an absolute mess on the floor. So while I didn't get any, uh, while I didn't spill a drop while changing the oil,
Poppy peed on my couch. You guys don't watch Seinfeld, do you? Guys that watch Seinfeld know what I'm talking about. Poppy! I think this towel is Dunsky. What do you guys think? I've used up, I've used enough of this towel. Good use. Typical lawnmower takes uh, 20 ounces. So I'll pour like that. Uh, oops. It'd be help helpful if I poured it into the hole. So about half. I added just a little bit more after I took level checks. Right on the nose. pretty well. So, that didn't take me very long at all, right? Very easy to do. Found it on the street, thanks to Boba. This is no longer garbage. This is no longer la basura. La basura means garbage in Chinese. Nice. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey guys, support my channel by a sticker. Also, follow me on Instagram at Mowers Blowers. Check out my website, MowersBlowers.com. See you guys on my next vlog. Have a great day.